Right, Shalom, when the Star of Souls, but given no place to have by Shem Yah Shah, by Shem Rakakudash, double honesty, the apostles of GMS, and honesty, brothers, doing the work in truth, while well, sincerity. So, quick one inspired from, um, uh, what you call it, uh, an exchange that happened at camp, uh, when it was basically just breaking down the scripture, right? And um, it was the fact that Darius, you had, uh, what you call it, Darius the first, followed by Artaxerxes, um, rather just Xerxes. Uh, rather, so it was Darius the first and Xerxes, and you had Artaxerxes, and eventually, uh, would you call it after it was Artaxerxes the fourth, you had Darius the third. Now, basically, it was just um, uh, you know, a misunderstanding because we said um, uh, uh, Alexander uh, uh, took down uh, uh, Darius, but when he was looking, just had uh, would you call it me and another brother just had a quick look, Ryan was like, oh, but uh, would you call it, you know, was that was that um which call it entirely correct in terms of the chronology. Um, but really what it was, was the fact that it was, uh, we were mistaking it for another Darius, right? So that's something important to know that there, you know, in the scriptures, for instance, you've got Antiochus, Antiochus, however you call it, right? You've got Antiochus, they, you know, there were different Antiochus, right? Even, um, uh, would you call it Herod as well, right? If I'm not mistaken, Herod, there, there are several different Herods. So when you're reading the history, you've got to be uh, careful in understanding um, you know the particular individual that you know you're you're you're, you're reading about, right? So this is Darius the third, originally named Ar Artashata and called Kodomonus by the Greeks, was the last king of the Archimedes Empire of of Persia, which I believe that is another one, yeah, Persian Empire, right? Um, yeah, and then you know, I just get to the point. The point is that he was preceded by Artaxerxes the fourth. Right, which means you would have had Artaxerxes the third and second and first, right? And then succeeded by Alexander the Great, right? Says Daniel's eight, right? It says in the year in the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar, a vision, a vision appeared unto me, even unto me, Daniel, after that which appeared unto me at the first, and I saw in a vision, and it came to pass, when I saw that I was in Shushan in the palace which is the province of Elam, and I saw a vision, and I was by the river Ulai. Then I lifted up mine eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river of Ram, which had two horns, and the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other, and the higher came up last, right? Now, this is talking about the Medio Persian Empire, right? And this is the, the one that was higher than the other, that was the Persians, right? Because they were stronger in might, right? Um... It says, and I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward so that no beast might stand before him, right? So they were basically started from the east and was basically uh, uh, moving up, moving south, moving uh, 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 west, right? It says, so that no beasts might stand before him, neither was there any that could deliver out of his hands because they were powerful, right? So, but he did according to his will and became great, right? It says, and as I was considering, behold, and he go. Right, and that's representing of Alexandra, Alexander, right? Uh, uh, the Greek, or the creep, right? We, we we don't call him Alexander the Great, right? Call him Alexander the creep, right? It says and he and he goat came from the west on the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground and the and the goat had a notable horn between his eyes, right? It says and he came to the ram that had two horns which I had seen but standing before the river, and ran unto him. In the fury of his power, and I saw him close unto the ram, and he was moved with cola against him. Chola again, I don't know how you pronounce that word, whether it's cola or chola, right? And smote the ram and break his two horns, right? So basically, uh, Alexander the, uh, the creep took down the, uh, uh, the Persian, the Medo Persian Empire, right? Archimedes, Archimedes Empire, as we read earlier on. This is Unbreaker's two horns, and there was no power in the ram to stand before him, but he cast him down to the ground and stamped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Therefore, the he goat waxed very great, and he was very strong. The great horn was broken, for it came up. So, so like, let me re let me reread that. Therefore, the he goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, right, the great horn was broken. And for it came up four notable ones towards the four winds of, of, of heaven. Right, it's talking about the four generals that basically fought after Alexander's um a, a kingdom. Right, I forget their names. Is it listed? I list them here. Four notable horns. Right, four generals: Cassandra, Ptolemy, Lysimachus, Seleucid. Right, are also known as the Dardici. 
right, or successors, right, that Alexander the Greek divided the kingdom to upon his death, right. But um, but yeah, that's that's, that's all I had. Um, so it was just to, uh, 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 you know, something that just came up at the camp. And so just remember, you had different people with you know the same name over history, right? And the scriptures don't always say, you know, uh, you did, don't always distinguish, you know, which one it was speaking about. And you've got to do your own due diligence, right? So as always, Lord's will. Um, that was edifying. Uh, until the next time I say Shalom.